Good morning and welcome to Saturday. It's going to be a very cool day today. It's Deb's 60th birthday party and we're getting ready. Deb's at work at the moment. She finishes at one and then we're going shopping for party goodies. Me and Glenn, we've had a bit of a tidy up, thrown the hoover around, done a bit of dusting. I need to pick up Debbie's birthday cake today as well. We've just popped in to see Chloe as well. I had a catch up with Chloe. Give me some goodness at Costco. Yeah, we'll get you something delicious at Costco mm -hmm. and see you later at Debbie's see party. You later. See ya. Bye. So we just stopped to get a sandwich to share. And we was pulling into a parking space. And the man next to us was getting a small child out of the car. Obviously we waited. And a man from the other angle came. Started just going mental at Glen For waiting for the man to get his child out. Seriously. Seriously. I'm, I'm just befuddled. Why people act in certain ways. Glenn's just found a wallet. He's just going to hand it back into the shop. Someone will be missing that today. So we're just going to go and pick up Deb's birthday cake. So we have just picked up this amazing cake from Gemma from the <laughs> Copper Kitchen. This looks amazing. Good, so it goes down well. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll see you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Right, cake delivered safely. We're just waiting for Deb. Then we'll be off to Costco. There we go, got some flowers for the top of the cake. So we're on our way to Costco. So there's a hot dog with my name on it there and I'm looking forward to it. So Costco's is very busy. Glenn said, get out. He's gonna find a place to park and he's gonna meet us at the entrance. Look at the size of the TV, look. Look at these bunny rabbits. Right, nuts we're looking at. Nuts, nuts, nuts. Let's have a look. I just like seeing what is in everybody else's trolley. So busy in here. I've just stood. I'm standing still. Well, Glenn's just like shaking his head in despair. Isn't that beautiful packaging? Well, that sounds lovely, doesn't it? And a nice shiny bottle. Glenn's found the chicken nuggets. Is that exhausting, Deb? <laughs> Out into the fresh air. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Costco. We love you, but no. man. And the whole experience leaves you quite stressed. We have deliciousness for Deb's party, so that's good. Come on, let's go. Let's get this back to Deb's. We're party ready. Me and Glenn, we're just nipping over to Wellingborough. Pick me mum up, bring her back. Debbie's got a cocktail maker out. <laughs> Slightly worried. You watch what they say about gin, mum. Mother's ruin, that, that's what they say. Bevy, Leo, Lexi, hello my darling. And hello John as well. Oh, hey, is that another car arriving? Yeah. It is as well. Oh, we got some babies coming. In. Oh, sleeping. So, oh, you're not sleeping. You're you're, you're, so I've brought this for Deb and it is Hotel Chocolat Chocolate Cream Rum and Raisin. Nemo's here. She's bought the delicious food. Ooh, looking gorgeous. Is that key lime pie, my darling? Oh, okay. All right. Hey. Hello, Debbie. Naomi sorting out the pulled pork. Look at this. It looks amazing. Here we go. Food ready. Is this the kids' room? Is this where all the kids are? Are you giving an impression of me? Are you not happy? What's that? Happy birthday to you. <laughs> 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 I'm 
<laughs> you get in there, you get in there. Shake it, shake it, shake it, then shake it. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's one more way. Having a shot with a bit of raisin in. Is it good? Is it good? <laughs> 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 oh, oh, don't oh. spill it! Deb <laughs> just tried to put that cake on the plate and it just runs off. <laughs> bye bye! Bye! And that is it. The last of the guests have gone. That was such a lovely night. It was so lovely. And I just want to say a massive hello to Elise and thank you for watching so many of our <laughs> vlogs. Thank you. Good morning and welcome to Sunday. Well, it's the day after the night before. What a great party that was. It was fantastic. So we all had a great time. No one's woken up feeling too worse for wear. Glenn didn't even have a drop of oh, alcohol. I actually had one can of Pepsi. That's all I had all night and really? a cup of tea. And a cup of tea. That's I made it. that tea for you. So we're feeling bright and ready to go today. We've had second hand sandwiches for breakfast. Yes, we had leftovers for breakfast, which was delicious, to be honest. And those house don't look too bad. No, and, and look, <laughs> the house looks fairly back to normal. Mm. Right, today we are heading off to St Albans. Glenn's on a mission, wants to get more done, so come on let's go it's a beautiful day today sun is shining sky is blue spring is on its way well the motorway is let's just describe it as slow we've arrived we're just going through the gary glenn's discovered this when harry was younger he obviously was doing some shooting with granddad and this is the scores harry and tony it looks like Harry didn't do too bad. In fact, I think he beat Grandad 23 to 18. Glenn's going to put these metal cabinets on Facebook. See if uh, anybody could do with them. We got some delicious pulled pork that Mark made. Got some of that left over. I'm going to do like a pulled pork sandwich. The pulled pork that Mark makes, it should be award winning. It's that good, tastes delicious. Got a bit of barbecue sauce, got some nice bread. Let's just make a sandwich. Now that's what you call a delicious sandwich. So I made a cup of tea. I am gonna spend half an hour reading my book. Mr. Warner. Researching old books. Yes, he's got a whole load of old books that he's researching to see uh, what he can do with them. This prize was awarded by the President of the Council of the London Chamber of Commerce Incorporated to William J. Roberts, which is my granddad who I never met. He died when my mum was 12. Proficiency in bookkeeping and accountancy. 